Today I will show you how to pop a colors on your images. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. You asked me how to pop a colors on your images, so today I will show you one way how you can do that and of course in Photoshop you can do everything in a several different ways. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, first image for today it's this one and we will create a little bit more pop-up color effect on this image. Of course, first thing what maybe it's on your mind, just use hue and saturation and pop up some colors. And yes, of course you can do that, but oh, it's not so interesting result. So we will not do actually in that way. All right, let's analyze the image first. As you can see here, the blacks are a little bit washed out. And first, what I like to do is to bring back some blacks in the image. So I will use, first let's get rid of this. I will use curves adjustment layer and as you can see here, our blacks are starting from dark gray and goes on. This part, it's empty. It, there's no information actually. So I will pull this back here and immediately you can see the blacks are really blacks, but we will not do so drastic. Uh, we will create something like maybe so. All right, and now I will close that. I will use another curve adjustment layer and I will open some shadows here. And how to do that? Well. I will protect highlights, midtones, and I will just go here and open this part of the shadows like so and protect this one. Okay, just a little bit. Let me see before and after, before and after. That's really nice. All right, the next step is to load hue and saturation adjustment layer and use this icon here with the hand and finger. So let's click on that and now I will sample the color I want to tweak. I want to tweak this yellow orange color. And as you can see, Photoshop automatically add me the, added here the um, borders, which color I'm tweaking. All right, it's from this um, orange yellowish to all, all the way to the green. And we can tweak back this, we don't want green color, but it's something like like this, it's okay. So let's boost the saturation to this one. As you can see, we only saturate this part of the image where the lights, it, lights is. So let's leave it something like this and go to the reds because I want to manipulate the reds on her face and we can emphasize that and maybe bring it towards the yellow to have a similar tone like down below. So let me see, I don't want to affect the yellow here, just the reds on, on her face. And yeah, that's really nice. Of course, now we can mess with the blue color and go here from reds to blues and just maybe add a touch of saturation. That's really, really nice. Next thing what I like to do is to go and use selective color adjustment layers and use the black color because I want to add uh, to tweak the black color. Now, as you can see, we have some bluish tint in the blacks and we can remove that if we want. We can add any other tint, yellow, green, orange, etc., etc. So I will remove the blue by adding a yellow. As you can see, now we don't have blue tint and we can add some reddish tint if we want or go to cyan or yellow or magenta, etc. etc. So I will leave a little bit of this blue tint, like so maybe, and I don't want so much cyan. And let me see, I will leave something like so before and after, before and after. It's a really small difference, but I like it. So let me show you before and after it's already much, much better before and after. And you can leave it like so, or you can even tweak it a, even more. So what I like to do now is to merge all layers together with the famous shortcut shift control alt E or shift command option E on a Mac. So let's do that. And let's go to the filter and camera roll. I really like the camera roll filter and I use it all the time. And of course, in Lightroom, you have the same options. And I like to tweak photos in Lightroom too, in the same way I'm doing here now. All right, 
First thing what I like to do is to open the shadows a little bit, right? Like so, and I want to bring back some blacks. That's nice. Now let's add a clarity, a little bit, not too much, like so. And we can add a little bit of the contrast and go here to the effects. Maybe add some vignette and feather it a little bit. And you can add the haze or remove it to have this haze effect, but we don't want that. Maybe two or three um, steps of that dehaze. And now let's go to split toning. If you want, you can add even more blue to, to the shadows or some other tone if you prefer it. But I will add just a touch of blue. I will leave the highlights intact. Let's see how the yellow affect the highlights. It's actually nice. I will leave like that and maybe set, uh, sharpen the image here or you can do that uh, later in Photoshop with maybe uh, high pass filter, etc, etc. So it's your preference. Let's bring down the radius and here it's like so. And let me see if we go here to the colors and saturation tab, just saturate a little bit of this orange and go back here and say, okay. All right, let me see. Yes, that's nice before and after. And now overall effect before this is really washed out image, not so um, saturated. And this is really, really nice result. This is how you can pop the colors on your images and the contrast too, of course. This is before, this is after. All right, now let's go to another example and right, let's finish for today. The another example, it's this beautiful lady laying down on the floor and we want to pop up colors here. We want to emphasize this uh, magenta light color on her back, uh, etc. And to add a little bit more contrast to the image. So first thing what I like to do again, it's to add a curves and just add a little bit of the contrast, just a touch something like so before and after before and a really small amount. Right now, let's go and use hue and saturation and again use this hand icon and choose this magenta color and let's boost it up a little bit like so and we can even change the hue to go even more to the magenta if you prefer or you can change something crazy but I would just go a little bit more towards the magenta and let me see it with this a little bit before and after it's really really nice. All right, the next thing, again, I will add selective color adjustment layer here and I will tweak blacks and I will add a blue to this, to, to the blacks. So let's reduce the yellow and you will add blue because I like how this blue color, uh, it's, it's playing with this uh, magenta tint on, on her backs. So let's add just a touch of that and maybe cyan touch, I don't know, mm, or no. Mm, no, something like zero, it's perfect, right? And the next step will be to add maybe gradient map. You will see why. Let's choose a map here. Let's choose the colors. Let's use this one, right? Press OK. And how this gradient map works? Actually, what is on the dark part, it will colorize the shadow with that color. And on the bright part, it will colorize the highlights in that color here it's pretty much same tone but with different um, lightness um, in, in the tone so we will use this one and i will put that into overlay blending mode and we will have really strong contrast effect in that tone so this is the effect it's really really strong and of course i want to add just a touch of that maybe around 30 percent let me see before and after that's nice now we can go here again to selective color and add maybe a little bit more blue to the image, like so. And that's nice. Now let's merge everything together, shift Control alt e or Shift-Command-Option-E on the Mac. And let's go to the filter and camera row filter. And here we will finalize our image. So what I like to do here, it's again to open the shadows and close the blacks add a little bit more clarity to the image, like so. Maybe open shadows even more, let me see. Something like so, it's, it's nice. 
and let me see we can brighten the image a little bit like so all right let's go and add vignette just a touch and i like always to feather feather the vignette let me see about the haze mm, maybe a touch of the haze like so and if you like of course you can add some bluish tint in the shadows but we already have it maybe just a small amount again it's nice and of course i will sharpen it right here like so and add a little bit saturation to magenta tone like so it's really really nice let me see contrast it's okay and white white it's it's okay like so and when we are finished with that just press ok and wait a few seconds for photoshop to apply it and that's really good so let me show you now before and after this is before and this is after it's really really nice result and it's obvious result before and after before and after now you can see how the colors and the contrast on this image pop out a little bit better than on the original one so it's of course your preference you can change the tonality of the image etc you can even go more with this image uh, and dodge dodge and burn it uh, to emphasize some parts of her body a little bit more but that's not the topic for today we will leave it right here all right guys that's it for today i hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it just have fun experiment practice uh, don't worry if you mess something up you can always undo that and learn on your mistakes have fun with your adjustment layers try what i did uh, in this tutorial and try your own thing on your own images so if you have any questions at all regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below i will be glad to answer them and see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye